Oh my gosh, guys. Okay. Hey, David, doing a Assassin's Creed collection video. Hey, David, doing a Assassin's Creed collection, please. Hey, you're gonna do an update on the Assassin's Creed collection. Do an update on the Assassin's Creed collection, please. Do an update on the Assassin's Creed collection. Hey, David, we're gonna do an Assassin's Creed collection video. Hey, do an update on the Assassin's Creed collection. Oh wait, I'm ready to let you do the Assassin's Creed video. Hey, how about do an update on the Assassin's Creed collection? How about I do? I love who's your favorite Assassin's Creed franchise? Me 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 me. Everyone wants to talk about Assassin's Creed. I'm 100% now. Okay, this is the the deal I have for uploading this video for you guys. I am not going to buy Assassin's Creed Syndicate on launch day. All right. Um, I'll maybe wait down the line when it gets a little cheaper or something like that. Number one, I was kind of hesitant on it because it comes out like two weeks before Black Ops 3. I'm going to have to choose one of those games. You know, I can't buy two $60 games in, you know, in a couple weeks. I've done that before and I, I got broke, you know. I remember when, um... Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 came out like just weeks apart from each other, you know, and uh, I'm not going to do that again. So uh, I think if anyone has to ask me, OK, will I have to choose between Black Ops 3 or Assassin's Creed Syndicate? I know I, most, most people are going to choose uh, Black Ops 3. All right. Comes out two weeks uh, after Assassin's Creed. So what we're going to talk about today is my Assassin's Creed collection, what I have, okay? This isn't some guide about the complete Assassin's Creed franchise or anything like that. I'm just going to show you what I got, okay? Uh, and I know people are going to be like, Hey, David, you're missing this, you're missing that. There's, there's more action figures, there's like huge posters and magazines, there's comics, graphic novels, books, and there's like other video games. You still don't, you, you don't have Assassin's Creed Chronicles, you don't have Assassin's Creed Pirates on the mobile phone. Show me your receipt that you bought those games, man. No, <laughs> I'm just going to show you what I got right here. This is all, this is it, okay? Uh, this is my Assassin's Creed collection. I also have... This hoodie, all right, was like uh, 20 bucks. It even got the Assassin's Creed uh, uh, logo right there, all right. We're going to talk about everything I have, and then we'll just go from there, all right. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through each of the, uh, the side stuff before we get to the games. So I got this Assassin's Creed Black Flag t-shirt. I actually bought this like two, three months ago. I made a video about it, and I haven't worn it yet, by the way. I haven't, I'm looking for a reason to wear it. So there it is. We got Edward Kenway on the front cover right there. Um, Game Informer, when Assassin's Creed Unity was coming out, I got this magazine here. All right. I also got some action figures. This Arnold figure here was only like seven dollars uh, on sale, so I went ahead and went for it. There's other figures in the in, in the uh, in the wave. Okay. But there's Arnold. I've already opened them by the way. If you want me to just do a quick unboxing real quick. <clears throat> I'll take them out for you guys. Okay. So if you want to take a look at the face, it's not exactly accurate, but uh, good enough. I actually like him as a character. He's kind of funny. Um, not exactly the best character in the entire franchise, but he was fun to play as, you know. And we also have here <coughs> Ezio from Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Well, you know, from 2 and Revelations also, but, but uh, this is from the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood version of him, alright? That's him in the red. That's why I got this, uh, this uh, hoodie from, you know. I, I like his look. So I'll also open this. He's got alternate hands and he's got a sword right there as accessories. Here we'll open him too. Set him down with the with the games. Alright. He's got a he's got a rubber <laughs> a rubber rubber blade right there. Okay, so there he is, there's Ezio. We'll set him right here. Oops. Etsy is kind of a short guy, huh? <laughs> he's a he's a hobbit. All right. So what we're going to do is take a look at each of the games in no particular order, by the way. I kind of sorted them up, sorting them out by uh, by the character, the main character of the series. So we just start with. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here, man. Let me take off this hoodie. Oh my gosh, it's hot in here. It's already heated in this place, and I have to put on a, a sweater for this video. <laughs> Alright, 
So I got Assassin's Creed. Whoa! <laughs> and they still stand. Assassin's Creed here. We got the Xbox 360 and PS3 version. Uh, the PS3 version does not have trophies, so I was very pleased that when I played it on Xbox 360, they actually have achievements for the game. All right. Um, black and white booklet. Not much there. Uh, but yeah, there's the first Assassin's Creed game. Put this back. Actually, let's do it like this. All right. That's the first stack, and here's the next stack. The next game I have here is also an Altair game, because th this game here introduces Altair. Um, here's Bloodlines for the PSP. This is actually my first game in the series, all right? This is the, uh, the first game that I played from the series. This is how I was introduced to the Assassin's Creed franchise, all right? And it's, it's pretty good, by the way. I like it. Uh, you can get it on a PSN. If you had a PS Vita, you can actually buy it from... Uh, from the PS, uh, PS Store, all right? Next game we have here is for Nintendo DS. We got the Assassin's Creed Altair's Chronicles, all right? It is a top-down scroller, okay? Um, kind of like a hack-and-slash game at the same time, but it's basically a, uh, a side-scroller, but it's from the top up, you know? It's from bird's-eye view. I enjoyed it. <coughs> and then next games here, we're gonna talk about Ezio. Uh, the movie Assassin's Creed Lineage, is a focus on uh, Ezio's father, all right, Giovanni. So there's the disc, my receipt. I always keep the receipts in case I, in case I, you know, uh, ever have to return it or whatever, which I doubt. Um, it's got some special features here, developer diaries. It's got some trailers here. I don't know. So they're actually making an official movie. Michael Fassbender from X Men. He's going to be in it. Um. So we'll see how that goes. Usually video game movies are like, ugh, you know? <laughs> You're like, ugh, they're gonna make a video game movie. Uh, we, then we got the Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy, which includes Assassin's Creed 2, Revelations, Brotherhood. Well, Assassin's Creed Re 2, Brotherhood, Revelations, that's the correct order. Uh, you see him as an older man, Ezio, in Revelations. That's actually my favorite game out of the, out of the three, by the way. I enjoyed it, all right? Nothing, nothing too crazy to... Uh, to say about it. I actually love the story of Ezio more than any other uh, game in the franchise. To continue on with the Ezio uh, saga, or whatever you want to call it, uh, Assassin's Creed 2 Discovery actually continues the story. This is a, a straight-up side-scroller, okay? Uh, it doesn't turn the camera or anything like that. Uh, if you guys played um, Batman Arkham Origins Blackgate, it's pretty similar in gameplay. All right, it'll zoom in when you do like the special combos or whatever, but um, but yeah, there it is. And the next game I have here, even though it's not in the correct order, uh, chronologically it goes before. So Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. This is actually the first game I played, uh, I completed on the PlayStation 4, I believe. Don't quote me on that. All right, but uh, I really enjoyed this game. The, the darn ending, man. <laughs> I don't know if any, I'm, I'm going to mention this because it's actually one of the most highlights of one of my playthroughs when I play on Twitch and stuff like that. Um, people actually tricked me to think that this is Abraham Lincoln, even though, you know, the time and stuff like that doesn't even add up right. Um, everyone keeps saying this is Abraham Lincoln because he was freeing slaves in the game. You know, he was trying to be a leader at the end of the, of, of the game. He was actually in a the theater and stuff like that. And I thought was gonna, someone was going to shoot him or whatever. <laughs> so, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's crazy, man. People try to, try to troll me and stuff like that when I'm playing the game. It was the first time I ever played a game with, uh, with you know, comments during live stream and stuff like that. By the way, people keep asking me, hey David, what are your live streams? There's a playlist on my YouTube channel, alright? It's called Gameplay and Live Streams. Go to that playlist and all the live streams I've been doing on YouTube, it's all right there, alright? So all, I, I sorted all the gameplay videos out, uh, out into that one playlist. So if you, if you want to watch me play Tomb Raider, the Black Ops 3, uh, 3 a Beta, if you want to play any of the previous Assassin's Creed live streams, you know, Watch Dogs, um, you know, I, I've been playing a lot of games. Uh, recently, Aquabus Trip. Um, I played the Nathan Drake Collection um, demo, you know, uh, Spider Man 2. So, those are where the streams are. Just go to my YouTube channel, go to playlist, and there is a, uh, a playlist called 
gameplay and live streams. You'll see me play Metal Gear Solid 5 and stuff like that, okay? Everything's there. So go, go, go check it out sometime. Um, here we have Assassin's Creed Liberation for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, they actually made a HD version, which is such a shame because this is, for a lot of people, this is like their reason to buying the PS Vita, you know? And now you have no reason to play the PS Vita because <laughs> most of those games appear somewhere else, you know? We felt special at the time. At the time, the PlayStation Vita was special because it has its own Assassin's Creed game, it has its own Killzone game, it has its own Uncharted game, and uh, they're thinking about, uh, you know, porting it to other systems and stuff like that, which is a, I, I, I don't want that. I want the system, if it's going to be exclusive, make, make it exclusive, all right? Okay, next games we have here, I bought twice. This is another game I played twice. Um, I got Assassin's Creed 3. All right, I played the PS3 version first, and then I played the uh, the Xbox 360 version because it was only three bucks. All right, so I only played it's just a single player, and I played the game for three bucks. So I just wanted the achievements for it. I'm a huge uh, hunter when it comes to achievements and uh, trophies. This is probably the last game that comes out for the uh, for the PS3 Xbox 360 era. You know, Assassin's Creed Rogue. I got the limited edition here. It was only 20 bucks on sale at the time. Um, it comes with like codes to download weapons and stuff like that. But the weapons that are already given to you automatically in the game actually are more powerful than those. <clears throat> so yeah, there it is. I actually really like the story, by the way, of Shay, an assassin, assassin that turns into a uh, um, a Templar. Very interesting story, um, and it actually connects, the ending actually connects to Assassin's Creed Unity, which a lot of people love me, love, love, love to see me play. Uh, it's not the best game in the series, but when, when it comes to me, David, playing a game for, for people on YouTube, they love it when I play this game. <laughs> they have a hilarious time because I'm always dying and I'm jumping off buildings. The controls are so much different than the other, other Assassin's Creed games. That uh, you know, I would like just slip off the building and I would die because I would fall so far and stuff like that. <laughs> but it's fun. Uh, a lot of glitches. I did make a video montaging all the glitches and stuff like that, that I've experienced. Like uh, one time, I actually beat the final boss, but it, it says that I died. You know, <laughs> so it was really weird. Uh, for the most part, I didn't ex experience a lot of glitches until the end of the game. But uh, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> Alright, so there is the Assassin's Creed collection. What is your favorite game in the series? And uh, comment below and let me know, uh, do you think the, the movie starring Michael Fassbender will be a thumbs up or a thumbs down? <laughs> you know, because it is a video game movie and we're always worried about that. But at the same time, you know, if you have to find the right director and stuff like that, you may actually do well. Assassin's Creed! I've always thought it's, it's one of those um, franchises that can actually do it, but they ruin Resident Evil. Like Resident, how can you mess up Resident Evil? You know, and uh, but uh, yeah, uh, I like the Resident Evil games. By the way, actually, we're gonna talk about it right after this video. I got, already got the games set up right over there. See that? Well, it's mixed in with some other stuff, but uh, it's all over there. We're gonna talk about the Resident Evil series next. Maybe like next week, I'll upload that video or something like that. Here, you know what? I'm just gonna give you guys a, a quick preview of the Resident Evil series. So we got all these games. Whoops. Alright. We got the movies, of course. And then I was going to hang on. I was going to surprise you guys with a Wii haul video because I did buy a, I didn't buy I just got a Wii recently, and I bought a couple games for the Wii, so we got a couple more here. So I sorted them out by system, as you can see there. So here's a quick quick preview, and then we'll uh, we'll get back to the uh, we'll talk about it in the future. All right. So there it is, my Resident Evil collection so far. I actually don't have the Survivor series. I don't know if I should just buy Survivor 
and Survivor 2, and that Game Boy game. I don't have that Game Boy game. Resident Evil Gaiden. Uh, but should I even bother? Should I just go ahead and make the video and just upload it? And just say to you guys, you know, just like Assassin's Creed, I didn't, I didn't talk about Chronicles or Assassin's Creed Pirates on mobile phones and stuff like that. You know, I didn't talk about posters and comics and action figures and stuff like that. We don't have, just have, all that's this is a small stack of, of uh, Assassin's Creed stuff, you know? Alright, <clears throat> how long is this video so far? 15 minutes? Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.